I'm cold and tired. Willie B wins a boring race and possibly the ugliest car I've ever seen. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Fresh back from Martinsville. Uh, exhausted, cold, freezing. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hopefully today is the day uh, I will earn that subscription. But let's talk about William Byron winning this race and then I will get into the race itself. William Byron becomes the first two-time winner on the season. He wins Martinsville in dominating fashion. Uh, he also won the truck series race, so he pulled off the double. So not only is he a two-time, the first two-time winner of the season, but he has pulled off the double. He won the truck race and the Martinsville race. He had little competition. Uh, they did have a restart at the end, but Austin Dillon spun the tires and couldn't get to the back bumper, and Joey Logano couldn't mount much of a fight either. So shout out to them. So let's look at who else ran good in this race. Let's take a look at the top 10. William Byron, of course, wins. Joey Logano finishes second. Austin Dillon with another strong run. His third top 10 uh, in a row, I believe, uh, with a third place finish. Ryan Blaney fourth. Ross Chastain continues his good start to the season with a fifth place. Kurt Busch, uh, one of the lone bright spots for Toyota. Kyle Busch, uh, he just pretty much drove his way to seventh uh, because his car was pretty terrible all day. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute as well. Eric Amarola uh, and Chase Briscoe. Stuart Haas was strong here. And Chase Elliott, after winning the first two stages, finishes 10th. So good race for all of those guys. And also wanted to give a shout out to Eric Jones, who with some pit strategy got back on the lead lap and got a 13th out of what looked like it was going to be an absolutely miserable day for a guy who had actually a pretty decent car, uh, but he qualified poorly, got down a lap early and was not able to recover until he luckily got that caution at the end. Toyota had a bad race. You look at Christopher Bell, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex. Christopher Bell was running in the top five for most of this race. Then he had an issue on pit road and he was never able to recover cover from it because you couldn't pass in this race uh, is what it looked like uh, which I'll get to in a minute but Martin Truex is a guy who has several wins here and Denny Hamlin is the active driver with the most wins here neither one of them were ever a factor in this race and it was just a bad day for Toyota uh, the 2311 cars actually look fast. Uh, Bubba Wallace was fast. He had a fast car, but he got in trouble on pit road. Uh, I think he had a man over the wall too soon, so that mired him back in the pack. He did fight really hard to stay on the lead lap in that second stage, uh, so he definitely had a fast car. So the 2311 cars were fast, but Kurt Busch was the only one that got a finish to show for it. So Toyota once again was off, so it was a bad race for Toyota. And Cole Custer. Cole Custer had a rocket ship. He had one of the fast cars on the racetrack uh, but he got caught up with a pit road penalty a loose tire I believe I think it was right uh, right in front of me actually because I saw that tire rolling I just didn't know it was his uh, at the time but yeah that mired him back in the pack and he was never able to recover from it so he got a terrible finish uh, with a really fast car so Cole Custer's bad luck continues but he had a really good car and he had a really good run going today all right, now let's talk about the race itself. Most people who watched the race on TV felt it was boring. Most people at the racetrack who watched the race uh, didn't like it. <laughs> A, because of the weather, there was rain, there was sleet, there was snow. Like, it was, <laughs> uh, not sleet, but hail. There was rain, hail, and snow. Uh, man, it was... Uh... It was really raw to sit through, to be totally honest with you. Uh, at the racetrack, it was a little bit better of an experience watching the race because I was able to watch the 43 car. I was like, man, he's got a fast car. If he can get back on the lead lap, he can make some noise, which he eventually did. He got that 13th place finish. So I was able to watch other stuff like that. I watched Bubba Wallace stay on the lead lap, fight to stay on the lead lap. That was somewhat entertaining. But yeah, at the front of the pack, not a whole lot going on, and there was no passing. Like, like I said, with Cole Custer and... Uh, uh, Christopher Bell, when they got back in the pack, even though they had really fast cars, they seemed like they couldn't be able to pass. In fact, the only two people who I saw in this race who actually could pass really well were William Byron. He worked that lap traffic like nobody, and Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon seemed like he could pass people almost at will, especially at, on the long run. So those two were the only guys who I really saw could pass people. Every other driver said passing was almost impossible. In fact, you saw Joey Logano lay the bumper to uh, uh, William Byron, and he couldn't even move him. So, I mean, he, he, laid the, he laid the bumper to Austin Dillon a few times, too, I think. Couldn't move him. So 
it seemed like uh, even the bump and run, you couldn't move anybody, so passing was a real issue. And there are a couple of theories on this. The first theory is the tires and the weather. One is that the weather was so cold, rubber wouldn't lay down. The other theory is that the tires uh, would not lay rubber down. Either way, rubber was not being laid down as they showed on the uh, side by side uh, after a few laps into the race no, no no rubber was laid down they showed that side by side at the beginning of the race and somewhere midpoint through the race uh at least on the jumbo monitor uh at the racetrack so i figured that's what they were talking about and uh so maybe goodyear needs to come back with a uh less i don't know less hard tire a, a, a softer tire that will lay down some rubber and also hopefully the temperature is a little bit better in the future uh, for that tire and the other thing that we want to talk about is ride height apparently the ride height rule is an issue here uh one of my buddies texted me i had some of my friends text me i had zero uh cell phone service so i got all these texts uh as i was leaving which was uh, really annoying because i was trying to use my navigation uh to leave the racetrack uh anyway uh, so ride height is what apparently Chad Knauss mentioned on the uh, broadcast. Now I don't know exactly how these new cars with the ride height would would it would have made it any better. I don't feel like it would necessarily be an aero situation at Martinsville, but maybe it is. Chad Knauss knows more about these cars than I ever will, so maybe try both of these things at the next Martinsville race. Chunk the ride height rule for all the short tracks and give them a softer tire so you got tire fall off. Uh, so you can get some more opportunities to create two grooves and create some uh, better opportunities for drivers to pass if they have a faster car than the guy in front of him. All right, guys, I'm exhausted. I'm cold. I'm tired. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate all the comments over the videos, uh, the past uh, couple videos I made. And it was really cool seeing some of you guys out at the racetrack. That was awesome. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. Uh, if you made it this far, subscribe. Gosh, I'm tired. I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh, and also I wanted to say I messed up Brandon Jones name. Brandon Jones was the winner of the race, not Daniel Jones. Apparently I was watching uh, NFL where Baker Mayfield was going to go and I had Daniel Jones, uh, quarterback for the New York Giants lodged in my head because they were saying maybe Baker Mayfield goes to the Giants or something. So I had Daniel Jones lodged in my head. Brandon Jones, winner of the race. Never mean to disrespect the winner of a race. Uh, so Brandon Jones won that race. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got for you. I'm tired. Thanks for your time. Peace.